for every relationship to work it takes two people yeah and you cannot force someone who doesn't want to be part of your life mm. to be part of your life True. stop feeling sorry for yourself True. Yeah. and stop expecting people to actually feel pity for you you can heal and move on and love again Hello everyone, how are you doing? I hope you're keeping well and of course, this is Tuesday and you know when it's Tuesday, it's decoding the process where we talk about relationships and relationships is majorly everything. I mean, we, we, we are affected by the relationships we have and it's important for us to discuss them in depth and to have a life that is fulfilled. And I'm joined with an amazing guest, a face that you are fully aware of, but of course because of our new um, um, people who have joined us, you can introduce yourself. Karibu sana. Thank you so much. My name is Prince Nimori. I'm a gospel artist and an entrepreneur. Mm -hmm. That's the short version of me. Wow. And thank you so much for having me back here again. Thank you. Thank you for always being available. And of course, um, he's a musician and dropping new songs every time. We are sure that you will keep um, up with it and we are thankful for the ministry you have. So today we want to dive into relationships and of course one thing that um, we most of us have gone through and of course um, it's a stage of life as you keep on walking through relationships and discovering who you want to be with for the rest of your life. So today we discuss breakups. So how does somebody actually get past a breakup and you know forgive yourself forgive your partner and get to love again because sometimes it's difficult sometimes the heart doesn't learn to love anymore but we want to know how can we get past that stage and get to love fully and wholly again karibu sana you can take it up from there thank you so much yeah uh, first of all let me say this uh, that um not everyone you lose mm -hmm. is a loss mm -hmm. and unless you understand that mm. then and before i even go to that mm -hmm. walking past a relationship and just people get stuck there mm -hmm. people get stuck there because i'm hurt and of course you will get hurt yeah you know i say love is like a wave sometimes when you swim into the ocean mm -hmm. you never know whether the wave is going to help you swim smoothly or is going to just take you away mm -hmm. and that's how it is so we get hurt along the line but understanding that even if it happens mm -hmm. you can still move on yeah. and love again mm -hmm. but most of people they get stuck there yeah. because it's a hard thing and, and even me mm -hmm. i've been in that place mm -hmm. how do you explain to me someone i loved so much mm -hmm. i gave everything yeah. sometimes in the relationship we invest money time yeah. and uh, friendship yes. and then you want me to get past that mm -hmm. and move on and trust yeah. The reason women call men dogs is one of these. Okay. And the reason men actually call ladies sluts, mm -hmm. it's the reason. Mm -hmm. Because how can I love you and give you my all and then you come hurt me? Mm. But what I say, like it's like, it's not just, you can't stay there. You have to go past that. I want you to understand that you will be hurt. Sometimes you'll be taken for granted. Mm -hmm. But this is what I always say that if they can't love you enough, they were probably never meant for you. True. Not everything you lose, mm -hmm. it's a loss. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you lose to gain. Yeah. And if you can't understand that, then you still stick there mm -hmm. and cry over it. Yeah, yeah. So what I can just say, like maybe my point number one is, mm -hmm. stop feeling sorry for yourself mm -hmm. and stop expecting people to actually feel pity for you. Yes. Because it won't help you. And hoping they will feel bad for leaving you. Exactly. Mm -hmm. In fact, we have some soldiers, the son of Adam, they will hurt you and walk away as if nothing happened. Yeah. So entirely the process of healing, it's dependent on you. Yes. Do you want to be made whole or can you just stay there? Because definitely, the more you keep staying there and keep pitying yourself, mm -hmm. the more uglier you get. Exactly. Yeah. So that's when like you'll stop hanging out with your friend. Mm. You stop uh, making yourself available for the new opportunities. I'm telling you the reality. There's a guy seated somewhere and he's looking at his like, wow, if I could just get a chance. Yeah. So the more you pity yourself and the more you resent the other person, mm -hmm. feeling that they will come back to you, they won't. So it's up to you. You like a partner, 
stop feeling number one i know it's pain yeah, it pains but stop feeling pity mm. stop stop wanting people to actually sympathize with mm. you because your life is your own yeah own it up and know mm-hmm. whatsoever you lose it's not everything you lose it's not a loss mm. some things you lose so that you can gain yeah and i totally love the fact that you're saying do not I'm go to the extent of really trying to cry out for this person because I feel like if somebody has made up their mind to break up with you yeah. then they have actually made up their mind because a break up and the end of something somebody mm. thinks about it for a long time yes. that was not the day so you cannot easily convince this person exactly. and the more you do it you're actually shaming the last part you're remaining with I mean sometimes even crying is not necessary you can cry but yes. please go and cry with your friends but apo jifanye Jifanya hata wewe haujasikia kitu bana. As in at least yes. show the strengths so that they can also get to understand it is a process that happens yeah. and it happened maybe for the better. So let's just agree to disagree yeah. and part ways. Then you can just not ashamed yourself more by crying. Yeah. Go home and cry where you're supposed to cry but not on the shoulders of this person who's already out of the, that game. In fact, the truth is mm. the more you pity yourself and the more you you cry and you are just making yourself weak for yeah. him the to pray back him. on you yes. have you ever had uh, this where like you 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 actually disagree with your boyfriend or you with your girlfriend mm. and because you you give them so much power and then you begin to cry you're like ah you can't leave me you can't leave me yeah. this guy takes your vulnerability mm. and then comes back and that day he pretends that we are having makeup sex mm. and in reality he's just fisting on you yes. and then after that and then he goes like and then you begin beating yourself crying yourself yes. so stop feeling number one to just get past heart mm. stop feeling pity of yourself yes, yes. stop feeling pity of yourself mm. and just accept it mm. yeah. and um let me ask this even yeah. as we proceed yeah. is it really important to have closure now that people keep on saying i want to really know why you broke up with me because i really want to know maybe i want to change that part of me you know because sometimes this closure brings more issues but what do you think about that uh if you deserved that closure from them they would have explained it to you mm. but the fact that they walked away yeah. without even having the audacity mm. to explain well there are sometimes where like someone will say because of everything but in reality from my research nobody actually tells you that you are bad on this and this that's yeah. why i'm walking they walk away mm. and then later when you confront them is when they come and they're like ah it was because of this mm. and sometimes uh for example let me be vulnerable a little bit um One time many years ago I was dating this chick who couldn't feel me mm-hmm. and then the best thing she told me when I needed closure she was like you have a bad breath man <laughs> So <Sorry>. I was <laughs> like what do you mean <laughs> Now can can you imagine how that tainted me Yeah especially if you brush your teeth <laughs> like, like, <laughs> The problem would have been if you're not brushing your teeth Yes <laughs> But number one what it did it killed my my my, my integrity it lowered my self dignity yeah. and 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 I I looked at myself and like wow I'm this trash so sometimes closure can even make you feel what? better really? worse than even you were Yeah it can bring both sides but I feel like it doesn't really help a lot. No. The moment you're still on your self journey of working on yourself, yeah. I mean you will always get better even without anyone telling you what you need to do. True. So and some things might appear so wrong to somebody but somebody else are not so wrong to them. Yes. So you just need to move on. I mean carry dust your shoes and keep moving wow you are a breath <laughs> yeah because you, yeah. you see and most of people they want closure but sometimes ask yourself can you really handle that yeah. yesterday i was watching a movie sorry to bring this in i was watching a movie of a young man who the father left him when he was still young and then when he was now grown up and then he conducted someone a, a, a pi to actually get information from him. when he got the information about the father mm. he looked at it but the guy told him whatever is in there it's everything about your father that and and, and clean mm. but I can promise you what you'll find in there mm. can either change your life or mm. kill your life. Sure. The young man resulted to like it's okay. 
I don't want to know it. Yeah. Because he realizes that. Like, and then he was asked, why, can, why don't you want to know what is inside? And mm. then he said, I am happy. I am happy. Sometimes, just making that decision that, you know what? Mm. It is gone. Mm. It is gone. Yes. And let me begin to shape my next mm. step. Mm. And my point number three before we go on a break mm -hmm. is accept it. Just accepting the fact that yeah. I, I mm. love, but he didn't love me. Yes. You know, that's where most of the people go wrong. Mm. Hey, just accepting that uh, you're not loved. It's not even about you most of the time. No. Accepting that it's about that person. That's why they're leaving you. It's not yes. mostly you. People attack yeah. themselves so much. Yeah. They end up being so, you know, bitter. Yeah. And most times I'm just leaving you because of me. I mean, yes. it's, not about, it's not about you. Most of the guys sometimes, I've, I've, I've done some blue research and then, Sometimes men will just walk out of you when they can't keep up with your yeah. with your demands, mm. uh, positive demands yes. mm. of like you want to get better, mm. you want to have a focused yeah. life, you want to have boundaries. Mm. Like this guy is coming to you. Yeah. Uh, his intention is to actually after sex. Mm -hmm. And then when he comes, if you can't give sex, mm -hmm. he feels like, ah, oh, man, there's... Jerry is there. Mm. He can sort, she can sort me out. Yeah. And then he chooses to leave. Mm. Now, if you don't accept that it's not <laughs> about you, it's it's about them. It's, it's about their decision. Them. Mm. Because trust you me, for every relationship to work, it takes two people. Yeah. And you cannot force someone who doesn't want to be part of your life mm. to be part of your life. True, true. So if you accept the reality, accept the outcome. Oh, Buddha, Unitaki, mm. it's okay. Cheers. Mm. I move on. You mm. are better. Yeah, you are. Wow. I mean, there's so much coming out from him and basically reminding you guys that love yourself more. You can't be loving somebody else more than you that you want to die because they're leaving you. I mean, love yourself more and still express the same love to your partner. And even as we have come this far, we want to take a very short break and ask you to digest that part because, you know, it's not easy to really accept a breakup. It's not really easy to get past some things because maybe some of you who are watching are going through it. And we know that maybe in the future, in the near future, you'll be the one going through it. But we want to help you understand a few things. And more is coming after this break. See you. Do you realize who you are as a woman? Have you understood your God-given purpose? Maybe yes. Maybe no. But one thing I know it gets clearer along the journey. Join me as we redefine our position in the journey of womanhood. Every first and third Wednesday of the month at 9.45 p.m. only on Wema TV, the voice of hope. Welcome back, guys. This is Decoding the Process, and of course, we're talking about heartbreaks. You know, this is something most of us go through, and of course, sometimes it can take a lot of time to actually mend your ways and come back to normal, do life normally, and of course, concentrate. So now, as we've discussed a few more things before the break, we want to look at, shortly, how do we get past it, you know, the simplest way possible. Well, wow, thank you. Uh, you know... You've used the word the simplest way possible, but in reality, it's not simple. Mm -hmm. it's, it's getting past the relationship is not simple. Yeah. And I'm trying to look on the notes that I have, like, I've, I can't point on a particular thing. I have to explain it much. Mm -hmm. And because we don't have time, this is what I would say. If you have to get past um, that, I believe it's a decision you make. Yeah, true. It's a decision you make, mm. and it's never easy. Yeah. They will still poke you up. Mm. They will still want you back. Mm. But you know deep down yourself mm. that this is not good for you. Yeah. So if you have to get past it, yeah. just make a decision. Yeah. And be deliberate about it. Mm. Uh, make a decision. Because it begins from there. Mm. Because getting past, you need healing. Yes. And getting past, you need uh, to rediscover yourself. And all these things, I've seen like they are tied in a decision. Mm -hmm. So if you don't make a decision to like, you know what, I want to. You know when you're hungry mm -hmm. 
and then you make a decision like I'm hungry let me go to the kitchen yeah. or let me go to the restaurant and buy food yeah clearly there's something hurting you mm-hmm. but you have to make a decision of like apana i'm hungry let me go get food yes. and chances are that it's a process mm. you have to prepare it mm-hmm. or even order across the counter mm. or just so i'll say if you have to get past this mm-hmm. make a decision make a decision and i feel like you need not to focus on it no. the problem is um we we do not have that stern decision of really walking away Yeah. And we keep on focusing and you know crying over that relationship that was. And of course, you will always see the good things, even if there was more bad yeah. than good times. And you keep on having the memories. Definitely, moving on is going to be very hard. So I feel like you need to focus on other things. Yes. Move on and now focus on yourself, on your growth, on being better, yes. and really understanding that there is much better for life. Keep on doing it. In fact, this is what you need to know because. If you don't move past it, mm-hmm. you'll be held captive of it. True. You will remain in that cell, you remain in that prison of feeling you are not enough. Mm-hmm. Of questioning yourself, what did I not do right? Mm-hmm. Or what did I do wrong? Yeah. That this person, you know, I've had women ask themselves like, was I not cooking enough? Was I not washing enough? Mm-hmm. Was I not sexual enough? Mm-hmm. And then even men asking themselves, was I not being was I not a man enough? Mm-hmm. Trust to me, the more you ask those questions, the more hurt you bring to yourself. Mm-hmm. It just cages you. Like mm-hmm. you're saying, mm-hmm. it cages you somewhere and it deprive you of the future. Mm-hmm. Of the future. Someone says the best revenge you can do to someone who broke your heart mm-hmm. is become better. Yes, exactly. And of course, moving on because yeah. the moment they feel like you're still stuck there the more they celebrate knowing they can actually hold you back um, 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 let me just confess this sometimes i meet up with my ex mm-hmm. and i clap for her mm. i'm like man yeah you've gotten so good mm. that i'm i'm uh, i'm jealous <laughs> in, in, in a good way of yeah. like uh, but the good thing is like for us now we are friends mm. like she's happy for me i'm happy for her mm. but i'm like uh Unlike other people I see when they break up, when the relationship doesn't enemy. work. It's an enemy. It's an enemy. Like you you look at them you're like and and like <laughs> and then you see but I, I look sometimes I look at them like you are good like you have your stuff held together. Yeah. In fact, it even attract more respect. Yes, yes, exactly. But if you keep on dwelling on to the past. Yes. Let the past go. Yeah. There is nothing yeah. good in the past. Mm. Focus on the future. Mm. cry like you're saying mm. you can go and cry mm. but not in public mm. some people and, and stop don't go to social media mm. and and to to give your grievances over there yeah. it won't help you mm. the people over there they will feel pity for you but they won't help you true true get yourself your stuff together mm. and then just stand up it is okay to fall but mm. don't remain down true Wow. So I think when you're talking about breakups and everything, there's something that is really coming out. The aspect of really loving yourself. Yes. Bringing it out very well in terms of after a breakup and of course even when you're dating because you're still going to be looking forward for another relationship. Yes. So how does that come in? Uh because you see even you you getting yourself better mm. is for the next opportunity. Yeah, yeah. But now what happen if you cannot get yourself better now? Mm. Mm-hmm. how are you going to get the next opportunity true, true. yeah so and that comes because if you can't love yourself enough mm-hmm. to work on yourself for you mm-hmm. not for the other person yeah most of people work on themselves like i want to be better for the other no mm-hmm. if your reason of getting better is to focus on the other person then mm-hmm. you're getting it wrong true. get better for yourself yeah for your self worth mm. you are better so get yourself better mm. you see last time I was here I told guys like you have to be whole mm-hmm. if you de- if your happiness depends on someone else then that's not happiness because that means like they can control the happiness yes. so if they if they're not there you are not happy if you are if they are there you are happy mm. so loving yourself is for you mm. is for you is to get back your dignity is to get back your respect if you get back is to get back your charisma that's why you have to focus on yourself mm-hmm. and love yourself on this i agree 
I agree. Because people think um, getting a person, that is when they actually get to be happy. But I feel like the happier you become, yeah. the more the person comes closer to you. Because we're all attracted to people who are very balanced. Yes. And people who have built themselves up yeah. to a point of strength. And people do not know the better they become, the better the relationship is. So you're doing this for yourself, but in turn it makes the relationship stable. For example, I think there's a, a, a very public icon we can emulate this, Robert Burale. Mm -hmm. That guy has not been in a relationship for the past like nine years. Yeah. I'm not sure about this. I'm just stating the facts that is out there. But I'm like, but see, he's developed himself. He's 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 better in what he does. Yes. Right now he can he can be loved and he can love anyone. True. Well, I am. Mm -hmm. I'm, 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 I hate to actually come to that place where like I'm doing it for me. Like everybody was like, are you single? Yes, I'm single mm -hmm. and happy about it. Mm -hmm. So don't rush into a relationship. Mm -hmm. Be whole Be fast. whole. Love yourself enough. Mm -hmm. Take yourself out. True. The more you love yourself, the more you attract love. Yes. You attract what you have and who you are. So people wonder why they attract broken people. It's because you yourself are broken. Yeah. But if you love yourself, any, any balanced person yeah. is able to see how you have developed yourself and that's what you, makes you attractive so if you remain broken not working on yourself not loving on yourself you'll always attract the wrong people in fact mm -hmm. sorry to cut you mm -hmm. in fact you see <laughs> if you haven't loved yourself enough mm. even when true love finds you you will still question it yes true you still question i never like you 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 get to this person and then you do them good and they're like oh what do I have to give back for this? Yes. Because they don't believe that this love exists. Mm. So again, get over it. Get past it. Mm. Get out of the past. Mm. Work on yourself. Become better. Mm. And then love yourself. Watch out to a Congolese and then it's like, wow. Mm. So you mean you are happy? Mm. I'm happy. Yeah. If you cannot be happy by yourself, mm. no one can make you happy. True. Wow, that's true. I agree. No one can make you happy if you yeah. cannot be happy by yourself. Yeah. Guys, we would really want to talk so much about this. But we know that the most important points are well uh, are well explained and we have given you the best we could. But before we really get to conclude, I want our guest to really just say one last thing he feels he needs to, of course, tell the people out there in regards to what we have been discussing. All right, thank you so much. My last point is, is, is this. Your healing is dependent on you. And if you want it, mm -hmm. go get it. Mm -hmm. If you don't want it, it's not going to come to you. Mm -hmm. There is so much inside you that you can focus on. Mm -hmm. Don't look on what you lost. Mm -hmm. Look on what you can gain. Sure. You can heal and move on and love again. Yes. You are better. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow. I love the emphasis of it's a new opportunity to, you know, explore yes. better things. And that is all we can tell you guys. I mean, breaking up is not just a bad situation. It's actually maybe a better situation for you to even get to advance and get to better relationships. Never take anything for granted. Everything can work out for the good if you decide to take it for the best of that season otherwise we are grateful for joining us this day and for anyone who has been uh, left we are truly sorry but we know that you'll gain the strength to apply what we have discussed and even when you go through this in the near future just know that the best person to to of course love first is yourself so that even if anyone leaves feel like they have lost it and you are gaining to you know greater heights thank you very much and of course join us every tuesday here at wema tv decoding the process as we discuss relationships have a nice evening <laughs>